Hey everybody, what's up? It's iPlan here back again with another video. And today I'm going to be discussing trading actually in World of Magic. So if you go here, you can see trade. That's cool. Here's here's my inventory for <laughs> for whoever cared. Um, yeah, vanity stats, just basic stuff. And then if you go over here, you can hover over everybody, which you probably know. And then this is me right here you can actually press send trade so basically I feel like trading in world of magic is an overshadowed feature nobody ever really talks about it so today I'm just basically gonna be saying how to trade well and how to, how to trade properly basically so as you can see here today is actually the 10th and the update was supposed to come on July 11th but Vetex games decided to postpone it to July 17th you know I'm I was a little annoyed with that not gonna lie but it's fine because today yeah let's just let's get into trading okay so you see everybody's inventories here you can basically tell who has the good inventory and who has the bad inventory it's pretty easy to tell based on somebody's hours so basically what you need to look for at least the important things that get massive massive overpays in this game are power or strong enchantment and then we have defense actually so as you can see here forceful so forceful and strong are really the enchantments that people want and they are willing to overpay for it so as you can see here's a power amulet level 70 which nobody can actually equip right now because the level cap is 60 but this is something that you'd want to overpay for right and it's it's worth losing a little bit of value on because everybody wants power amulets and everybody wants this so if I sent this he'd probably decline it right or she but if I sent this and then maybe this and then if of course this all depends on what your inventory is but Personally, I don't really want to overpay for this, and I'm not going to send a trade on it, because then you can only set have one outbound trade at a time, and I do not really want to do that. But basically, the key to successful trading is just know your rarities, know what people want. That That's more... That's basically all there is to it, is know what people want and know your rarities, because definitely some things are more rare than others, like these American cap American sunglasses this right here these are rare people want them uh, amulets defense amulets power amulets people love these and yeah it, it, you need to know your enchantments as well and here's just stats in general and stuff this is if you don't already know about stats then I highly recommend you go to the world of magic Trello actually and go right here to enchantments and these are basically the enchantments, I've said this before, strong and hard, those are the real enchantments that everybody cares about. So yeah, that's basically trading in World of Magic. Know what to overpay for. There are definitely some things that you would not want to overpay for, like this green mysterious mask, or let's see what else. This bow, I mean stuff like this, it's just very common. And another thing that people really want is wizard robes. People really want these because they increase your power, which increases the amount of damage that your magic actually does. So, yeah, that's basically all there is to trading. This is just a short little guide. Do not overpay for something that nobody wants because you know you won't get a good return on that. You won't make any profit. It's basically useless. So never overpay on a worthless item and you can basically tell really easily actually who is the good person to trade with and who is the bad person. You wouldn't want to trade with someone with 1.2 hours obviously because they don't have anything. Even 6.3 hours look barely has anything. Just just all this stuff like this is very common despite it saying uncommon. You can buy this Vistarian spear if you are Vistarian. And yeah, I mean there's nothing really else to trading, but I'm just really looking forward to the next World of Magic update. I definitely will be covering that, so if you want to see that and if you're excited for it, and 
if you just like World of Magic in general. I am recording a lot of World of Magic content. So yeah, that's basically all. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe, join the Plan Clan, like the video. It really does help me out. And it has been iPlan, and I hope to see you all around the Roblox community. Peace.